newspaper. I'm a Malayali myself. You must have figured that out by my name and my uh, my accent. Um, we hear this news. Uh, one person won 12 crore lottery. Another person, six crore lottery, five crore lottery. Have you ever thought, what if that guy was me? Yeah, I, would, I have thought like that. I said, I mean, I, I, if I had that money, what would I do? You know, it's interesting, right? A lot of things you can do. You can have as many parota as you would want and no one is ever going to question you. Huh? So you don't have to worry about how much money is left over or not. You know, in all the things that we do, lottery, we call it luck. Whereas when we build our career, we call it plan. We call it career plan, right? We don't call it career luck. Some people are lucky in career. <laughs> But the luck of a career is when you are prepared for something and when the opportunity comes, you are already ready for it. Tomorrow the world is going to many changes. You know, we already know how the world has changed from being a normal computer based technology based world to a world that is technology by itself. So technology is not anymore a platform. Technology is the world itself. I'm sure uh, the philosophy of what I said, you all understand, you know, uh, technology is the world. So I cannot say anymore that I am in IT or I'm in IS. I work for, I do coding. That is all part of the normal expectation. The question is, are you able to bring solutions when the problem and the opportunities exist? And today, though I'm speaking about sales and marketing, through the word of sales and marketing, I want to reach out to you and tell you why and how we can market and sell ourselves within the company to our clients and within the people around us. So a self-marketing, a company marketing, a product marketing all have common similar traits and we are going to spend a little bit of time there. But before we go into that, I want to particularly thank all the leaders of Neonix and and all the well-wishers who gave me this opportunity to speak. You know, uh, they normally say trainers, when they start speaking, they don't know when to stop. They'll keep on going. So Guru, when when is the hard stop that I have? What is the time? Uh, that I, have? I suppose you have the time, sir. Like no, but, but, but still, you should... Yeah, 7.30. 7.30, okay. So that is what I thought, one hour. So I thought maybe 45 minutes or 40 minutes we will discuss. And then last 10, 15 minutes, I'll take some questions. And if you do not have some questions, I will tell you some of the questions that others have, which are common questions, which will be good information for us. Is that okay for all of you? Yeah? Yes. Is there anyone here that I'm meeting for the first time in the group? Any? Anyone? No, right? No one? I think most of them I must have met, right? Yeah, yeah. Most of them I have met. If, if there is anyone that I'm meeting for the first time, hello to you. In between, I heard Kodi Code and Malapuram and other words being said. I have a very good connection with Kodi Code and all. When, when I got married, I was in uh, in Kodi Code and the beaches of Kodi Code and the Zamzam uh, rest hotel in uh, Tata and Zamzam restaurant in uh, near the beach hospital were all favorite haunts for us. So every time I hear Kodi Code, my my eyes and ears uh, jump up. Why do why am things are associated? Sales is like that. When I sell a product, there are some memories associated with it. I'm going to ask you a question. What do you think is the world's largest sold item till now? Brand. World's largest sold item till now. What would that be? Mobile phone. But mobile phone are different brands, no? Okay. So, so if you take otherwise, yeah, mobile phone will be possibly one of them, but it is not mobile phone. Till now, from history till today, from the opening of time till today, food. what do you food. think is the most sold item? Food. Food, food, correct. Food. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> yeah, of course, I expected you to say that. <laughs> food. And now, uh, within food, what is the most, there are different types of food. Daily food, snack food, Special food. Special food is marriages. You know, we say Kannur special biryani, eh? Thalasheri special biryani, eh? and all those things we say. The special food. 
daily food is what you eat at home and snack is what you eat vada and urunna vada and other items outside what do you think is the most common to eat an item outside remember i am speaking about sales is it daily food is it snacks or is it uh, is it uh, special food snacks snacks okay that is one of the right answer though though the number of number of pieces eaten is more in snacks the maximum revenue is for daily food now if you think about it daily food you get at home why in the world do you want to go outside and have daily food have you ever thought about that no one you know in every home in kerala if you go in the national highway you will find veetile una means home meals they don't say special meals of of so and so so and so they say home meals you leave your home to come to this home and eat home meals why do you think we are ready to spend money on food and items that we already know any idea you can make any any guess in malayalam also you can say no problem i have a internal transmitter that automatically transports translates malayalam to english endu kondana alle edukku idu we adhe veetla adhe food da we again we go and we again buy i'm going to use three words oh yeah 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 someone said something i heard some voice uh, different taste different taste of the same item okay very good different trust of the uh, uh, different taste of the same item uh, one good answer okay one more see uh, having food outside will be an different experience so one is for the experience okay you can sit comfortably at home wearing your lungi and your, your no problem wearing a favorite nighty and you we change all those things to go to some other place and uncomfortably sit like a chicken sitting in the poultry farm between two other people and eat food where is the comfort i don't know but comfort okay comfort we can sit with our friends right ah friends so there comes there comes the point one part of it is i go there for the experience that the the not the food food just happens to be the reason the value i get in that food is what the friendship when i go and say hey uh, how are you did you see that movie man i saw that movie man horrible movie a huh? waste of 200 rupees why did i even go you are just sitting and talking how is your child is your child okay hey did you apply for that job did your brother get married all that good talk that you do you get an extra value out of it food just happens to be the reason there is one more word before that i wanted to say one is value so what you said i'm converting that to value the first word was trust i will go and eat food that my tummy knows because my tummy knows rice my tummy knows dosa my tummy knows idli my tummy knows biryani my tummy knows whatever so when i go that is why in in the eating world there is a word called comfort food when i am having trouble dalia or in kerala kanji eh i don't know tamil nadu what do you have kanji only no kanji or pongal or something like that you know or dosai or ad, what or adai something you will have all those items because you have the trust that that place even if i am paying money the trust is there so two words i wanted to say trust and value are the two reasons why we sell and market items so if you want to sell a product it has to have what two words trust and value can you please write that down on a paper in front of you trust and value trust and value right trust on the left side value on the right side any small paper is okay paper slightly bigger than uh, visiting card is also okay yeah. trust and value now if you have written trust and, and value so what is the malayalam word for trust vishwasa adalle ella eh one advertisement was there no one uh, one uh, one uh, gold advertisement vishwasam adalle ella and the trust is it everything in tamil what is it nambikai 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 absolutely nambikai same 
Nambike. And from where Nambike comes the word Nanpan, friend, one you can trust. What is the other word I said? Value. Value, value what is the word in Malayalam? Kannada, what is the word for value, for, for trust, uh, Guru? For trust, it is same, Vishwasa. Vishwasa, Vishwasa. And for value? Uh, value means benefit. Benefit, yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> when you're asking, www, all of you go www.google.com translate. That word value is a very tricky word. You don't have the local word in South India for it. Molya. Molya, ah, molya, correct. Molya is the word in Tamil, in, in, in Canada. Molyam is the word in Malayalam. Tamil, I do not know. Molyam, how is it? No, no, sir, I didn't get it. Um, ah, so you will get some word. It will be the, the value of something. When you type, it will come. The word Molyam means what is the real worth. Maulia means what is the real worth. So if I'm selling a product which is a water bottle, a flask, hundred of competitors can come and copy this. But why will I sell this? Because the selling person is trustworthy and the selling person is adding some value. What is the value he's adding? He's adding the value by saying six year replacement guarantee. He's adding the value by saying I have put a small uh, uh, rubber uh, uh, backing so it doesn't slide on the table because water bottle if it slides your gadgets all will become dirty will become bad i'm adding value by putting an extra red color small tab that can be put like this or put like this so whichever way you want to hang it you can hang it small small things you add value i'm giving value by when i look at it it is when I can see the alphabet H-U-A-P, it means it is time for me to wash it. Oh, no one else has it. So value is the additional part of what I offer. In my job, when I'm selling my product, my product, what does it do? Product has a feature. It takes care of customer engagement. It goes and asks questions. It makes the customer feel engaged while he's waiting for food at the place. They are all features. They're all features. So what do you get? If customer is sitting there, if a Spot Bay customer is having a Spot Bay app and is looking at Spot Bay, what does he get other than waiting the time or spending the time well? What other things he gets? You know the answer, right? Talking with friends. You'll get, uh, he'll get some discounts. He'll get some offers, etc. Right? So you get some extra there. So I already know that by playing this, by being part of this, it is giving me something that is going to be of value to me. When that mix becomes correct, when the product is good and the value is better than what I thought, I will take a product. Now, every product's value is not equally good. I'll give an example. Let us take uh, Nataraj pencil that we write in school, you know, Nataraj pencil. Nataraj 621 HB pencil, last longer it is written, I don't know. I don't use it, so it is lasting long. So this particular pen that I have with me, this pencil, someone comes and says, I'm going to bring a competitor. Okay, let me try if I can find a competitor pen. Huh. Now competitor has come, Stedler. Now, both do the same job. What do they do? Write. Both have the same length originally. Now, because of whatever reason, one has become smaller. Now, if, let us say, if one of you is a rep sales rep for this pencil, and one of you is a sales rep for this pencil, how will you differentiate these two? What are the things that are different visually between these two? Color. Color. So the first thing you will say is, Sir, children like bright colors. And because of bright colors, even if this pencil falls under the table in the night also, you can fight and take it because children tend to throw the pencils. It goes under the bed. It goes different places. Bright color means you can see it. Another person will say, no, no, no. Red color means red is the most visible color. So you put red, it looks very royal and nice and good. So you can keep on fighting, but there is no extra value one gives me over the other.
But when one person tells me, I have an eraser at the bottom, and the other one does not have an eraser, suddenly the game has changed. So when I go and sell a product, I will say, my product is good. When I look at it, when compared to others, it is as good as others. So we can call it a common product. I am good. My skills are good. My friend's skills are also good. But when compared to the competitor, it is equal. No major difference. But when I show a difference in my skills, which is slightly better than others, that is when value comes in. And then people say, you know what? I want that product. I will give an example. There is this car company called Volkswagen. You know Volkswagen, right? We call it Volkswagen, different names we call it. Volkswagen is what they really call in the original place, Volkswagen. So Volkswagen, they launched a car by the name Alambria, Alambria, very famous car. And it was like a, like a how do I say that, six-seater car launched in Europe. And Volkswagen at that time had a tie-up with a British company. And they said, both of us will make same cars. You call it Volkswagen, I call it my car company. And Volkswagen will sell their product, I will sell my product. Same car, only difference between the two of them is that the grill is slightly different, uh, seat is slightly different, but 99.99 same car, engine same, everything same, also manufactured in the same place. Which product do you think sold more, the Volkswagen brand or the local brand? Manana, before you do that, the local brand was priced 20% cheaper. So now you get a Volkswagen car at what price? 20% cheaper. Which car do you think sold maximum? Volkswagen. You think so? 20% cheaper, huh? Discount, discount. People still trust the brand that the brand. has. People brand. still will trust the brand because it's a car. It is not a pencil. If it was a pencil, I would have taken because it doesn't make a difference. Because the value between two pencils is insignificant. But the value of car, car is for life. Maybe 10, 15, 20 years I'll use that car. So for me, it is very important. So the value makes a big difference. So when you talk to your customers and when you bring value about yourself, the first thing is you should think, I have value. But is my value the same as what others have? If that is the case, there is no perception that you are better. But if I can create the perception that you are good, that your skill sets are good, and that is where uh, you will find Neonix offering you learning opportunities like this, like many others, where you can become one step forward in your knowledge and one step upward in your skill. Very few companies offer this. You, you will get it from Infosys, you will get it from big companies. Small companies don't invest in time. You know, the number of times Guru would have been behind me saying, sir, tell me the time, tell me the time, when you will be there, when you will be there. Uh, he will be behind me. Why? Interest. Not because he wants me. I mean, of course, he wants me. <laughs> but the interest of wanting to uh, have uh, you learn this. So two things we said right now. Trust and value is the core of marketing and sales. Now we are going to do the main theme I said today. Main theme is this. We said the what, the how of marketing, the, the, the why of sales and the how of marketing. You can alternate that also. One day, a blind man was standing in the junction of a busy street. Many people were walking by, 20, 30, 40 people. Every, every hour, hundreds of people were walking by. This man was blind, and you can see he's blind because he's looking up. He has a black kanadi, you know, as, as spectacles, and he has a bowl in his hand. He has a stick and he's standing there saying, blind man, please give something. Blind man, please give something. Someone and all will give some food. Someone gave a banana. Someone gave a five rupees. Someone gave 10 rupees. Someone gave five. But his, his, he, at the end of the day, he would get five rupees, six rupees, seven rupees, 10 rupees, 100 rupees. Then a young child kept on looking at this person and said, this person will never get more money if he just stands here and made that person stand in the middle of the junction. Now, whatever money he was getting, that also he stopped getting. Why? Because in the middle of the junction, everyone is in a hurry to go cross the road. They are not relaxed. Then the, the child went to the mother and said, Mama, I tried to help this uncle. He says that he is blind. 
I took him to the center of the junction when maximum people are there. That is where maximum people will come, but still did not happen. Sometimes it happens with our products also. We take a product to the place where maximum opportunity is there, but that's not where the business comes. And the mother said, let me help you. She took a, a, a black pencil, uh, and you must have seen this somewhere, and wrote something on a white piece of paper and asked the, the blind man to hold that paper like this in front of him next time he was asking money. And then 10, 20, 30, 100, 150, 200, the blind man was like, what did you write? What did you write? Did you write anything wrong here? What did you write? So much of money is coming. The mother said, all I wrote was, today is a beautiful sunny day and I can't see it because I'm blind. That's all he wrote, she wrote. Today is a beautiful day and I'm blind, I can't see it. And people stopped, observed, felt empathy, felt sympathy and started giving five rupee, 10 rupee, 15 rupees. What the mother did is called marketing. <laughs> what the mother did was to position and say, what does this guy need? And he looked, she looked where the people are coming. And she looked the type of people. They all read, write. They know what to do. And then went to that person and made a small change. Marketing is helping your message reach the person. Sales is doing this, the part of the business to make the customer buy it. So if I can create a scenario, a background in which my product can sell, it is called marketing. In that background, when I do activities like meeting a customer, making the product available, that is called sales. Some people say, uh, where are they going? I'm going for marketing. Oh, you're going for marketing on Saturday morning. He's saying he's going to the market <laughs> to buy things. For shopping, he's going. You know, half of us don't use that word well. Marketing is when you create the scenario of who, where, what will sell. In marketing, there are three keywords. I'm not going to go into deep of, of this. Some of you will know it. And the three words starts with S, T, and P. S, T, and P. Can you please write it down? Marketing. You can write marketing. The meaning of marketing is creating the background for selling your product. Creating your background for selling your product. And write... Three alphabets, STP. STP is not uh, sewage treatment plant. This is a different STP. The STP we know is the other one, right? S, T, and P. We'll start with the P part of it. The P part of it, uh, we'll start at the beginning. So S stands for segmenting, S-E-G-M-E-N-T, segmenting. You can write dividing. Segmenting also means dividing. The next one you can write uh, segmenting, targeting, targeting. T A R G T A. Targeting you can write choosing. The last one, P, positioning, positioning. And you can say displaying. Along with it, you can write displaying. You wrote this much? See, whatever you are studying today, no, is a summary of an entire MBA program. <laughs> the entire MBA program will shorten this and can give it to you in a small, small bit like that. Now, um, let me give an example. Chakakuru chips. You know what Chakakuru chips is, right? Jackfruit uh, chips, not Chakakuru, Chakka chips. Jackfruit chips. Very common in Kerala, Tamil Nadu, some places. Karnataka also slightly common here and there. It is available, jackfruit chips. When I took jackfruit chips for the first time in Kerala, from Kerala to Delhi, many years ago when I first went there, I took from home, no? Your mother will say, please, Mone, give it to your friends. There, you know, the, all mothers will think that when children are going far away, you have to give 10, 10 kilos of chakka, chakka chips and all those chips, no? So I took these chips and I went and uh, gave it to my friends. And I gave, put it in a big bowl and I put it in the middle of our department. 
two bowls. One had banana chips, the other one had chaka chips. Chaka chips looks long. It looks like a French fry from Africa. Very dried, completely, some, very thin one. The other chips was like round everyone knew. Which packet do you think finished fast? The normal round chips or the new chaka chips? <laughs> Which one? If you're telling you have to open your, your mic, huh? some people are answering, but I can see that your mic is not. It's very easy. Just press your uh, your, your space bar. You, you can say. Yeah. Let, let me hear. Round one. The, the round one. Why? Uh, it is uh, more familiar to them. Than... Familiar. It's familiar. It's known. It's familiar. So when people bring their hand to take it, they bring their hand like this. But when they take uh, chaka chips, they'll bring their hand like this. Small example, but convert that into business. When you are a trusted product, people will say, bring everything of it. But when you are a new product, they will say, bring the one that I want to hear first. Tell me about price. Tell me about, is it available in Arabic also? Tell me about this. Let me try this much. Now, what, why is that happening? Because people, remember the two words I said earlier? Trust and the value has not been established. So what should I do? I should not keep chaka chips and the banana chips together. I will remove the chaka, the banana chips. Why? The reference point that is there is the common chips. Everyone will take it, no? So what I'll do, what I should do? I should keep the banana chips on the side and say, dear friends, I have brought something very interesting today. I don't know how many of you have had it. How many of you know an item called jackfruit? So many will raise their hand. Some people will say, we make biryani out of it. Katel ke biryani. Some people will say, we make, uh, we give it to our cows to eat. <laughs> in Kerala, what people men eat, cows eat in our state. Sometimes they'll make fun of you like that. Don't worry. Never, never be tired whenever anyone says like that. You are creating awareness that there is something like this. So people will come beside and look. What is this? Kathel. Acha. Suna. And they'll say, Deda, show me something. Give me some. Now the hand will not come like this. Now the hand will come like this. Please give. Who has the requirement now? The seller or the buyer? The buyer. Huh? So the moment you create awareness, they'll come saying, let me try. And that is the reason why most of the car companies they have an item called test drive. Hey, Maruti Zen, Maruti car, you want to buy, sell your car, you want to buy. Free test drive. Have you seen test drive cars, demo cars, going left, right and center? These cars were not there 20 years ago. Huh? 20 years ago, that car also would have been sold. Yeah. Today, a demo car is there and an extra car is there and that car is there, all those things are there. Because the moment you're interested, the customer will call and say, can I have a demo, please? The sales guy do not have to come and say, sir, please come for a demo. No. Can I have a demo, please? So now they come, they try it. They try it and say, hmm, this is different. It is, I like it. Some guys will now say, give me some more. <laughs> some guys will say, yeah, uh, I didn't like it. This is too crispy. Huh? Some people won't really like it. And then others will say, no, 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 I had it really good. And then, when the guy who did not like it sit, sitting back in his office, in the next cubicle, another guy is going. <coughs> and the other guy says, what are you eating? Yeah, that guy, Vijay, has brought some uh, uh, chips. And I said no to it. Let me also go and see, get more. So now one more chance for him to go back. So what do you do? You create an early adopter, an early customer of your product to make it known that my product is very easy to eat. So when I'm making a new product, I will find a customer who will straight away start using it. And we call that customer early user or early adopter. Why do, why do you need an early adopter? So that the guys who said, no, I don't want the product, will now get interested once again. Yeah, last time I did not like it. Maybe I have to try one more time. Or he'll come to the guy and say, hey, you are eating this. How is it? 
Yeah, when it is free, very good. <laughs> Particularly, Vijay is giving it free. It's very good, very tasty. You also go and have. So you'll also go and have some and come back. 90% chance that he will say, this is okay now. 10% will still say, no, yeah. In my mind, Katel is given for cows and bulls in my territory, in my hometown. Here, I don't want to give it. So sometimes people will say, no. But why did you, why did you get business? You knowingly positioned a guy who would take the product, buy the product and do. That is why when products are sold first, they are always sold to a select group of people. One of my friends, uh, 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 Guru knows my friend, Biju. Uh, Biju is I'm known to many automobile uh, dealers here in, uh, in, in brands here in Bangalore. When new brands come, he is actually called. He is one among many people who are called to say, sir, I'm bringing the car. Uh, just to give you a cake and to uh, celebrate our new car and I want to give you a test drive. No one calls me, I don't know why. Guru, we should find out why they don't call me. But uh, Biju, they call, they come and Biju test drives and he will say, very good. And because of Biju, two, three other people will buy. So they know these are early adopters. And recently, he, this guy bought a, a big car, a 52 lakh big car he bought. Of course, when people have money, you can do anything. That's a different story. But all the more, you will not take any brand unless and until it is having two things. What? Trust and value. value. The only place where you break trust and value is first time you are hearing something, you have never heard about any product before. First time you will say, okay, okay, let me try it. Bitcoin example. When Bitcoin came, people did not know what it was. At that time, people said, let me do. I have a friend, Suraj Khan in Trivandrum. He owns 21 Bitcoins. How rich he will be, you know? <laughs> Just count that by, multiply by what? 71 lakhs. Yeah, now I think it is. Yeah. So what lucky guy. <laughs> so he's saying life is media. <laughs> by, by a fluke of luck, he, he purchased it in three different purchases, you know? But he's a rich man by himself. You know, that's a different story. So let us come back to what you're saying. So what you did was you identified in your territory who are the people who can purchase. They will never take that car, a, a new car like a Volkswagen or something, and go to a school student. To a school student, they will go with a Yamaha RX-5 or a latest, whatever are the new bikes that have come, because that is more connecting with them. So that grouping of people is called segmenting. So for this car, this type. For this car, this type. This car, this type. So same car will have three advertisements. One, meeting the advertisement need of the, the younger person, elder person, junior person. Because whoever is seeing it will see their message. Now once segmenting is done, segmentation is done, so when you launch a product, you will decide who are the kind of customers. Okay, I think our customers could be three types. One, startups. New hotel uh, food startups who need support in getting more customers. Okay. Second, established companies, hotels, restaurants that are losing their customer because new startups food is tasty. So people are not coming to existing hotels. So they have longer waiting time. They need something to engage them. That could be one. So you divide them and make that into groups. That is called segmenting. So how will you respond? You'll say, sir, we've got a product and this product is Price priced across three segments. We've got a premium segment which does this, and we have a premium product for that. For the other segment, we have a different product. We have another segment for students, a light version of it. And all of them will benefit and give them the needs that they need. Now, you've segmented, you've targeted the customer and positioned it. This is all that you need to know about STP. We don't have to go into details. But segmenting, targeting, and positioning is very, very important. Tata, many years ago, you know Tata, right? I thought you were about to say Tata, by the way, switch off the phone, right? You know, you know, <laughs> we just said Tata, bola. now it's time for us to close and go. Tata, many years ago, they came with an advertisement. Tata saves 50,000 lives every year through the dedicated hospitals it runs. Tata educates three crore children, blah, blah, blah. Tata takes care of 35 lakh girls. All advertisements at the end, we also make steel. We also make 
steel. And Tata's job is not hospitals. Tata's job is not others. But why do you think Tata did that? Tata is a big brand. No, it doesn't have to establish. But why is Tata now telling like that? Any idea? Any anyone? People trust that brand. Already they created. People trust the brand. It is already created. Okay. To get the publicity and to get the publicity of what about steel? Because at the end of the day, they have to sell steel, not hospitals, no. No, actually they try re... to uh, make their name everywhere to know. Yes. Remember yeah. the two yeah. words I said. Value. Yes. And value. Mm -hmm. So there, this advertisement gives them both. It also gives them trust that Tata takes care of its people. It also gives value that because of that, so many young people have got jobs. So by default, you are feeding more and more and more and more and more into that brand. So no result for guessing the answer to the next question. Which do you think is the world's most trusted customer service brand? It is not Tata, by the way. <laughs> you thought it was going to be Tata. It is not Tata. See, I am also smart, right? I figured out what is what you require. It is not Tata, but related to Tata. World's number one hospitality brand last year. Taj. Taj. Correct. Taj is the hospitality brand of Tata. Now, some of us can never go to a Taj, Taj please, because the price of one chai itself is around 400 rupees. Why would we go and bring chai there? Unless and until we go for an award meeting, we don't go there. But Taj redefined the way hospitality meant in India. I have had the privilege of working in many countries and staying in many hotels. Now, one of the, don't tell this to anyone, one of the things that I have is, you know, every hotel has this magnetic card, keychain, the, the magnetic card, room card. I bring one back. I don't give it back. So I have close to around 790 cards with me. That's the number of hotels I've stayed across in different places. So uh, Tata must be searching. One card is missing. <laughs> and that card is here with me. Anyway, that is joke aside. Don't go and complain about me. Don't complain about me anywhere and get me arrested or anything, okay? All the guys listening to me. So, Tata, you know why Tata decided? Tata, when it was in the 200, 150 years ago, Tata realized that many foreigners at that time, British were ruling India. Many foreigners were coming for manufacturing their items in India and taking items from India there. So, Tata was in the manufacturing. Tata was in the machinery. And uh, Tata owned the largest steel factory in, uh, in, in east of India. Bilai, as we call right now, but other names earlier. Tata had the largest set of factories in Manchester, in, in United Kingdom, uh, the, the Nada by Navroji Tata. Tata realized people who were coming to visit our company as vendors were all coming and staying in some local hotels, not getting good experience, Indian food, you know what happens, right? So Tata decided to build their own hotels only for their vendors. Think about it, how nice a vision it is. They made the vendors, if you are a vendor or client of Tata, when you are coming in the ship or in a plane or whatever, the company car will come and pick you up. The company car will take you to Tata uh, Hotel. You will get the best treatment from Namaskar, from the namaskara that you hear in the beginning, every person will be smiling. You go to a Tata place. I've stayed in many Tata properties across uh, the, the, the country and also one out of India. The, the feeling is the same. Good morning, sir. How are you? And Tata guy will know if you are returning. They will know that you like this item, this item, this item. Sir, your favorite kitchen will be there when you go to your room. It has been already made. In case you want to make it hot, we will make it hotter and send it to you. How did you know you like Hichini? Because last time when I stayed in another Taj Hotel, they had done. And that is called customer relationship, the CRM software connecting them. Tata was the pioneer of all this. Marketing, what Tata did, many things they did, but Tata did was to reinforce 
just two, these two things, trust and value. If you, my dear friends, in the products that you sell and the products that you create, you can build trust and value. But before that, the question is, are you, you are the first product yourself that you have to sell. Each one of you is a product. Each one of you needs to market yourself. Even if you are not marketing yourself, your managers will know what work you are doing. But still, you have to market yourself knowing what is my, who is my target? My target is clients who want this. Okay. Now, what should I do? What positioning should I do? What book should I read? How should I make my difference? How well will I be? How better shall I be in all that I do? And once you do that, you will now become valued by the company. Why? Because you're trustworthy. Trustworthy means being disciplined. If there is a job where on the 15th of uh, February there is a deadline, don't wait for 15th of February. I was speaking to my team, you know, I have a morning, I have a small company that I run here. Uh, we have a morning meeting. In the morning meeting, 10 o'clock, stand-up meeting, like what you have. Today I told them about importance of, of recurring time. Sometimes we are there one time on time. Sometimes two time on time. But what is important is recurring be there all the time. Makes a habit. Because some of us, to be very frank, are not there on time. Like today also, I was delayed by a few minutes. All I could do was to inform, please give me some more time. I'm on the road. I was helpless. I couldn't do anything. But inform. What does it improve? Your trust. And I know that this person is putting a hard work. Some of our meetings when we do, we will have people log in much before I log in. 10, 12, 10, 13, I log in because 10, 15 is a meeting. The moment I log in at 10 o'clock, 10, 10, tuck, 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 they'll all come. I'm so happy to see them because I saw, I see passion in what they do. Bring the passion to work. Bring your character so that others will see trust and value in you. Segment your clients. Who are the people I need to work with? And when you segment, you also decide whom you don't work with. Now, when I say whom you don't work with, it doesn't mean that in neonics, I've decided not to work with Guru. No, not that. You have a lot of other things you do in your life. For example, you might be having two hours of extra time that you are watching TV or playing Instagram. You say 30 minutes out of the two hours, I'm going to take it here. So I will not spend one and a half hours, two hours there. I'll spend only one and a half. Whom I don't speak and spend time with is also part of my mark, my ta my my uh, segmenting. Then I will target. What do I want to do? Target. What do I want to achieve? I will achieve uh, making the best uh, uh, coding design for the products, which even my supervisor also has not thought about. And I'm going to learn. I'm going to do something. And then you do. And you come and say, and your supervisor says, this is good. I don't know how to do this. How did you do it? Sir, I saw something. I read something. And, and then the value of you increases. And then comes the last part, positioning. If you do your segmenting and targeting well of who you are, the company will position you in the right place. You will position yourself in the right place. Let me be very open and frank here. Some of us may not work in the same company throughout our lives. We may work somewhere else. Some of us may, we do not know. But wherever there is an opportunity, make the best out of it. So that you can sell yourself and make the product known. Selling is making the product available. Marketing is creating the background. So you do your marketing. Now, to do your marketing, two things, mistakes that people do that you should avoid. One, do not go and try to build political groups within the company. To market, no? You and me will be together. Eh? I will say like this. Eh? You say like this. Eh? Together, nah, it will be very nice. No, no, no. If you do that, you have already lost the trust of the person who is your friend. Because already you have lost it. Now you are only gaining material stuff. Tomorrow when he becomes your boss, he knows what kind of man you are. Or what kind of lady you are. Yeah, It is never long term. So never form political groups while you are marketing. Second, never... Try shortcuts. A plant requires its own time to grow. But sometimes, how much ever water you pour, the plant will refuse to grow. 
But at one opportune moment, the plan will go because that plan requires multiple things to be in place. So when you put your effort, you keep on putting your effort. Do not be discouraged when results don't come. Keep on putting your effort. Keep on putting your effort. Tomorrow people will say, you know, who are you? I am the guy who built that. Who are you? I am the guy who did this. Who are you? I was part of the team that did it. Who are you? I am shareholder of Neonix. All that will come when you are putting your effort right. So sell yourself. We will have a part B of this later, possibly after a couple of months, where we speak about how do you really sell the products. So the, the what of sales is this. The what of sales is, or the how of sales is, you have to ensure that trust and value is built. You have to ensure that you segment, target, and position your products well. And you have to create customers who are happy, who will bring more customers in. My job does not end in making a product. My job ends when my customer sees the value and goes and brings one more person. I uh, I, I was attending a religious course once in, in, in a place and I, and I learned this from that person. The person who was speaking, he asked us, do you know the meaning of the word disciple? So I said, well, you know, disciple. Disciple means uh, guru, not this our guru. Our guru is also guru, but uh, uh, the, 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 the dharmic guru and the people following, followers are disciples. He said, no. Okay. Then he said, uh, people who do what the guru does is disciple. He said, no. For five minutes, we kept on telling different, different things. Answer was not right. Let me ask you whether, because you're all very intelligent people. What do you think is the meaning of the word disciple? Sishya, Sishyan. What do you say, Chera? What do you say in Tamil? Sishyan. Sishyan. Guru Sishyan. Guru Sishyan, yeah. Uh, Karnataka Sishyan, no? Yeah, Sishya. Sishya, Sishya. So, who is Sishya? <laughs> you know, messenger. This messenger. Okay, okay, that's a good word. Messenger who carries the message of the guru to other people. Okay, good. Partly right. Partly right. And the person said, all that you said, I we also said. He said, okay, what you said is right. But he said a, a disciple is one person who lives the life of the message based on what the guru tells, becomes so good in his life that others see him or her and start following the main guru. The, the guru is not there. I am living my life. But others see me following the story and the life and the message of the guru, main guru, that just by seeing me, others feel, I want to follow this guru here. I want to work in this company. Why? Yeah, this company has so many good things. They don't see Guru and, uh, uh, and Archa and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Arun. They don't see. But they see you. They see you and say, if you are the kind of guys that are there, then I also want to be there. And there will be a fight later. No, I want to be there. I want to be there. I want to be there. That is true disciple. When the life of yours becomes the message by itself. So what Guru, our Guru said here is almost right, being the messenger, but living the life so that it inspires others. When another person starts following, then this person becomes disciple. Till that time only follows. Till that only employee. Do you want to become neonics? Do you want to become the core of what it is? There are many things that are right and not right with neonics, right? Like we are growing, some things is not right, some new policy will come. Everything is growing. But the best of it is there when all of us can align ourselves and build a great organization. Our products will sell well because of trust and value. Our product will sell well because it is targeted right. Our product, a lot of conversation between uh, Arun, uh, Archa, and um, uh, Guru and I are on, on targeting. Which customer, where do you go? What do you look like? We always keep on thinking about every time. What do you need to change? What about this customer? What, what can we do? What's the profile of that customer? What do you create? All those experiences, because you can have a great, wonderful thing. You're doing a wonderful job, dear friends, and let this be a learning that you carry throughout your life. 
So I want to wish you all the best and stop there and take a couple of questions from you. We've already crossed 31 hour, but any questions from you on this? Do you do you partially at least agree to the concept that I spoke about trust and value? The importance of you yourself is a product. Do you agree? We yes. completely agree, sir. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm sure for new people who are hearing for the first time, they're like, oh, so many things to do. How will we do? Don't worry. Just do your job. Just do, do it diligently. And that work comes in. If you don't have any questions, I have one question that I normally hear everywhere. The question is this. Uh, we are paid salary. Uh, and for that salary, we are doing our job. Marketing, um, uh, content creation, whatever. Why do we have to sell the company products also to others? That company will do. No? Now, when I hear that question, it normally comes from a big company, small team members. Because in that company, these small team members have no role to play in the creation and deployment of the product. Whereas smaller startups, scale-ups like us have an advantage that everyone has an opinion. You can make an opinion and say, sir, I have an idea on how we can do it. It may be right, may not be right. And that is where the engagement becomes better. So great opportunity for you there, which a lot of other people might not understand. Uh, that advantage, please make, to make use of it the maximum. So increase your awareness about who you are to others. You can only do it by speaking to others, interacting with others. Make mistakes. Vulnerable and say a wrong answer. Like if I'm asking you, what is the one word meaning for this? If you say, oh, I don't know the right word. Malayalam, I know, but English, how do I say? If you hesitate, others will not hear you. So be there. My, my wife teaches a class called Sunday School in our church. And she teaches UKG students. You know, UKG students is uh, prior, prior, before first standard. The t t 15 students are there on the class. Good morning, children, and all. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. 15, good morning, will tell. Okay, then my wife will say, how are you today? I am fine, teacher. I am fine, teacher. Teacher, I am fine. I am fine. I am fine. Sitting in the other room, my ear is like, <laughs> I can hear one or two, but 15 of them all the time is too much. Then, so I kept, I, I kept telling my wife, don't ask questions. Make statements. But she, her mind is already ready with the question. What did you eat today? <laughs> then we'll start chapati, so and so. Chapati was yesterday, a big fight between children. Why chapati is good, that is not good, cake is not good. Your cake is better than my cake. Finally, teacher has no control on the whole group. She has to put everyone on mute. That is the highest form of participation. You don't, have, you don't need that much. But still, never hesitate in coming on camera that is your identity. Because when you come on camera, I, I appreciate those people who are on camera. And I know that some of the other people have bandwidth issue possibly. If you are on camera, you know what it tells me? That you're okay to stand up and be heard and listen to. It shows possibly the, uh, the fact that uh, I am okay in being vulnerable. I may have to say in between, but still I will, I will sit and do, oh, it is okay. But be, you know, in your, in your life, be absolutely okay in being there. I know that all your meetings, you're all there on camera. Do not hesitate coming on camera and making a comment. Because I know your supervisors, the owners, all of your owners, the leaders of Neonix are very, very democratic in that way. In fact, sometimes I feel they're a bit too democratic. They ask too many opinions of everyone as it grows but it is the right thing to do. Make use of that. They trust you. You trust back and give the value value back to, to Neonix. Tomorrow, when we are recognized as a great company, we will remember that we all started as a band of young brothers and sisters with one goal, to make this the number one best company in the world. Why? Because somewhere Google also started like that. And they were belligerent. Belligerent means shamelessly arrogant in continuing their job. We don't have to be arrogant because you've got great products. Let us make the best use of it and all the success will be yours. Thank you very much. And I hand over the mic back to Arun and to Guru and Mahesh. Who is there? 
<laughs> well, uh, I think Arun is still here, but uh, he's a little busy today. He is traveling tomorrow back to India. So. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Mayesh is here, and yes, uh, for the candidates here for you know coding challenge, guys, the you know whole agenda of this session was to make you understand, you know, to sort of break the myths that we have growing up, like sales and marketing is something that. You no, know, it is something kept at last. Uh, is what we sort of learnt or uh, taught. Uh, taught. We learnt in that way. So um, I hope this session breaks that myth because you no, know, at the end of the day, it's what we do, irrespective of whatever the you know uh, domain we work in. Even if you are a, a developer or a designer or a, you know a QA engineer. So your interview is your sales in a way. You are you are selling your skills. If your skill sets are good enough for the other person, other person is being a client now. So if they like your sales skill set, they will purchase. They will hire you, right? So uh, and they will be uh, paying you as a salary. So uh, marketing and sales are something we do on everyday uh, life. So uh, I hope the session. So that uh, Vijay sir has you now taken today uh, must have given you all the insights that were required. And if you guys have any doubts, any at all, please do ask. And uh, if you can't ask now, or if you remember something later at point, you can always reach us. Right? You can uh, reach me and ask the question. If I can, I will. Otherwise, I'll reach back to Vijay sir, and uh, I'll we'll make sure you get your answer that you are looking for. So do we have any questions now, guys? Hello? <laughs> that, that, that silence might say it is OK. And if you need it, have you have any questions, put it in the group. I'll be more than happy to answer. Take, don't take this as a philosophical session. Take it as a session that motivates you to take an action. Before you close the system today or immediately after you close it down, write down one action you will do from today's lesson. One action. This I've decided to do from today onwards and continue doing that one thing repeatedly. That will give you more results than 100 things done one time. Same thing do repeatedly, repeatedly, again and again. Excellence is an act of repeating the same behavior again and again, not hundreds of behaviors at one time. So continuously repeat it, success will be yours. Thank you and all the best to all of you, particularly to the coding challenge people. All the best. Wonderful. I think it's, it's going to be a wonderful learning for all of you. And we'll be interacting soon uh, in other four or two. Uh, wish you the very best. And uh, thank you, Vijay, sir, you know, taking your time and coming here and giving this full of wisdom because uh, as much as it is a learning session for the candidates, it was for me, for I suppose for everyone here. Uh, there was few things which were insightful for even to me. I have been trying to be a marketer uh, from a quite a some time now, but still uh, it was as you said. Uh, it is a you know bits of a whole MBA program. It indeed was, and thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Vijay. Mahesh, uh, if nobody has any questions, can we now take a leave? Yeah, I think we can wind up. Thank you very much, Vijay, sir. Thank you, and good evening to all of you. Bye. 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 Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Good evening. Bye. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.